Hey everyone, Eric here. I've been building a lot of applications lately and I think that there's value in me showing you how to build one, going from an idea all the way to a finished product. So I'm going to show you my stack and an application I built, which I've wanted to build or rebuild for a long time because I built it before, uh, and I'm going to take you through the process of how to build it. But before I do that, from idea to launch, I'm going to show you the final product, what we're working towards, and then we're going to start off on a series of building each piece of this out, focusing in on one part of building this infrastructure and application, and we'll go through the technologies I use. So let's just jump right in. So uh, I struggled with the name a little bit for this application. I ended up with a German word for growth, which is called, and I'll pronounce it, but give me a break, please, Wachstum. Wachstum. Uh, it means growth. You can see, here we go, Wachstum. I can't, yeah, let's, ah, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything, but my, my microphone isn't set up. That's fine. So Wachstum, if you are German and, and you're watching this, please fix my pronunciation of the word. So yeah, so all it is is just, uh, like the URL says, it's growth space, a space where you can solicit feedback from people on events in your life or things that you've done and learn from it. So collect the anonymous feedback uh, simply, which is all you need to do is send a link. So just a basic intro page or the landing page of the application. So we'll be able to do things like create these events to track our progress and feedback. We'll be able to do things like copy uh, those URLs and send them to people for anonymous feedback. We'll be able to get the feedback from people with those shared links. So I'll give you a little tour of that and obviously need to review the feedback to actually improve. So let's take a dump right in to this. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log in. Here we are. Okay, here we go. Let's type my email in here. Uh, if I remember my password. No, I don't want to store you there. I do, I remember my password. Boom, okay. I'm pretty sure I have some events. There we are. This is all my serverless infrastructure warming up. So here we go, really brief run through. So you have events here. Each one of these events you can track progress. Oh, nothing's been tracked here. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, let's take a look at my fantastic presentation. So look over here, someone's given some feedback. I have an overall rating in this corner of this event uh, and then some individual rating and feedback that I've gotten. You can see over here as well, I have an overall rating. This is accumulating from all the events that I've done. Whereas this one, even though it's three stars, but you can see this one here, no stars because there's no data. All right, let's also go ahead and create a new, a new event. Uh, let's call it, what should we call it? I heard a bunch called my YouTube video. Uh, first, um, not first side event, first uh, idea to launch with the rocket ship for sure, a uh, video. First idea to launch video. What do I want feedback on? I would like some feedback on, I'll use bullet points. So this takes markdown so I can do some bullet points. I want feedback on the quality of audio. I made the, did you like the music? And something else maybe, um, did I say, um, I'll put in quotations, um, too much. That's always a good one. Now if you notice, you can see that the context has been, I can't create if it's too short. And I put this back in here and it's gone. It's because that in order to get good value out of a product like this or a good value from feedback, it needs to be specific. And so I required you to write, write at least 60 characters before you can create any sort of event so that when people see and uh, go to get this feedback, any link you can provide, you get this context. And, and I want that to be sufficient so that you get good feedback and good, and good quality out of, the, out of the information you give people. So go ahead and create this. There's a bug already. There's a bug already, which I've left in. that will fix eventually. Uh, but it's, when I click create, for some reason it doesn't close this window. There might be some refactoring in the code that I think we'll enjoy to do. So I'll close this. Uh, I'll give this a little refresh. There we go. So first idea to launch is there. Um, you see some flashing as well between two screens. Some things that I've left in that we're going we're gonna to fix. Uh, so first idea to launch video. So we'll go in there. Also, there's nothing going on in here. No rating, no uh, feedback. So let's go ahead and get some. So I'll copy this. We'll go over to that unique link. Give it a second to warm up. So I can go ahead and I can click on the stars, myself a five star rating, of course, so that I'm amazing. 
and then I'll say the video was brilliant comma your best yet I hope so we'll see how good the quality it is and I can submit that feedback it's gonna say thank you and redirect me to now I'm logged in it will go to the page uh, usually people probably won't be logged in uh, and then I can go and check out any feedback I've gotten so there's been some reviews without any feedback given and just some stars and um, where's mine I'm pretty sure I submitted some feedback in there aha it wasn't loaded yet. <laughs> so the video was brilliant, your best yet, and there's that five star rating. I'm already up at a four star rating, which should bump this one. Ah, oh, no, it didn't. I have too many negative ratings in my other events to give me a, a higher rating overall. So that's pretty much a basic tour. There's some basic things like, you know, I have a logout in here. And what else do I have to show besides this? Pretty much feedback, creating events. That's it, that's what the app does. Uh, oh, right, it is a progressive web app, so I can install it locally. And there's not too many offline features you're going to find, but at least now I can run it as if it's an application over here. Same same deal. There's all my events. I can still copy the events. Uh, naturally, I want to go to uh, the browser probably to, to go to those events. If I want to go get some feedback, I can go there. But it is a progressive web app, so you can operate that as if it's on your desktop as an application. Good. So uh, let's dive right into the first episode of this, if you're giving that walkthrough. I want to just clone a repo. So I've started this up. Yeah, you can probably fork it if you'd like. Um, oh no, it's private. You can't fork it. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it unprivate and you can fork it. Uh, otherwise, start a new repo for yourself and we can walk through this together. Um, yeah, we're not gonna fork it. No, because the, the actual solution code is, is in here as well. And I don't want you just taking the code and, and going with it. I want you to follow along and learn some things as you go. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. So it's a simple way to get feedback and learn. I've already gone through and created a repository. If you have not before, go up to this little plus sign in GitHub, new repository, whatever repository you choose. I've added a default git ignore file for Node, a license of MIT, and basic readme, just generated automatically. So go ahead and clone or download this. Boop. And let me open up nice. Here we go. Oh, I have a mic in the way. Boop. New window. There we go. My mic was in the way of the screen. Here, I have a folder called Gits. I'm going to go to a GitHub rather, and then I'm going to clone that URL. Now, I already have it, so that's fine, but once you clone it, there should be nothing in there. Wachstum space, and nothing in there. And in the next video, we're going to start by creating your first ever page with Next.js and React and React DOM and I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, like and subscribe. Do that to get updates on all of these plus all the other things that I'm doing. All right, au revoir, goodbye. Thank you for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. Some links below in the description that lead to this website. You can check it out yourselves as well as some other things I produce and my Twitter and Product Hunt page where you can go and check out things that I've done. Like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.